Mikey Chen is one of the places that he went to that wasn't in his YouTube but he decided to find it on Yelp. Uh, it used to be the old Sushi King so it still says it on this little overhang here but they actually have Venmo which is pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever paid a establishment with Venmo. So that was exciting. I ordered the soy milk, tea egg, and the fix. And so it'll be about 10 minutes. I'm going to walk back to my other place that I got food at. Let me that up. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's your girl CP, and today I'm out in Oakland. And, I walk behind me. <laughs> and today I'm out in Oakland because I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine. Yay! So because of that, I wanted to grab some food. I parked in the parking lot and I basically was getting parking for free, so I was like taking advantage of it. The place where the vaccination site was near Chinatown. And so I walked there really quickly and I grabbed some food and I parked on the street real quick because I was running out of time on my uh, validation on my parking. And so I just exited the parking lot, which is like right there. And I wanted to try some of the food real quick uh, before, you know, it, I guess, you know, the food always tastes better when it's like when it's fresh, fresh, right? And I did have to walk a little bit. So it's uh, counting down its numbers. But first, let's go ahead and give this quick drink a try. So this is a fresh soy milk i've never had fresh soy milk before so i'm very excited uh, i saw this from strictly dumplings video he did his oakland tour and so i got a couple items from there that he actually also got except the soup but let's go ahead and just give this soup a uh, drink a try hmm. okay so it's warm <laughs> so it's kind of warm out today and so i was holding this and i was like it, i was just like ah it's burning my hand and then it goes it was a whole struggle but it is very light. It has a little, little, little bit of a sour taste, like a very hint of sour. It's not sweet at all. She did offer me some sugar packets. But this is just nice and warm. I don't know why I was expecting like a milk tea, but you know what? This also kind of reminds me of the Hulk, which is I think very similar to soy milk uh, or fresh soy milk because it's just a skim of the soy and or tofu hmm it's interesting i keep drinking it i keep it's pretty addicting ah this one i'm excited for oh shit how do i hold this damn this thing is hella fat wow whoa my camera moved <laughs> so i also got this crepe so it's a salty crepe and here there is chinese donuts and I've already hand sanitized my hand. Didn't really touch anything. Oh, there's two of them. So it's one big one and they cut it in half. This looks like a egg crepe. So let's give it a try. There's like some chives on the outside. And haha. Hmm. I've never had anything like this before. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. It's so fragrant smelling. Mmm. I like this. So I've also never had a Chinese donut I really liked. I kind of know if like, it's probably like really drunk every time I've ever had it. Or it wasn't as good. But this feels really, really squishy. It has a nice bounce texture to the uh, donut. Mm, and there's stuff inside of it. It gives it a really nice crunch texture. So let me see if I can peel it back open. I'm not sure if it's like water chestnuts or mushrooms. But it has that consistency. It gives it a really nice texture change from the donut and the egg. And then whatever's inside. That's really good. Mm. You know, I also didn't know what to expect because I've never had one. But this is super fulfilling. And I'm probably gonna take one more bite because I have another thing to try and I don't wanna be full on that. Well, mmm. Damn. Definitely a very, very good savory crepe. Good snack. Or like, not even a snack. Like if you're looking for lunch and you're in the area, you want something pretty quick, they just have Belmo. I'm very, <laughs> I'm taking another bite of this. 
the two last items. I was like, wow. <laughs> mm. Everybody has a good flavor. I just, ooh, we got a tea egg. So I've only had a tea egg once at like quickly or something like that or something like top X. But let me go ahead and break this open. Ooh. And for those of you who don't know what a tea egg is, it's a hard boiled egg that has been marinating. And uh, I just want to bite this. And so, oh, I'm not even peeling it on camera, my bad, y'all. Okay, here we go. So here is our tea egg. So some shells on it. Okay. Two oopsies. Mmm. Yeah, it definitely gives another elevation to this boiled egg. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Gotta chase it with a crepe. Mmm, but I gotta try the way Mike Chen ate it. He like put it mmm. 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 Bitch, this thing is so good. And it's so big. <laughs> like if there's some if you could have this with someone, definitely have it. Uh, or if you want it for yourself. I mean maybe this is gonna be something you split into. But this is so fulfilling. And I keep eating it when I have something else to try in the back. But alright, alright. Oh my god. Bitch, that's good. She said I might need it. Uh oh. I probably shouldn't have put the whole sugar pack in there. It's okay. I put one whole sugar pack in there. So, like I said, this was a very mute taste. I feel like the sugar... I wonder if it's because I've been eating the crepe, but it has a definitely more full, like... A full savory taste. Uh, probably the crepe. <laughs> okay. So, that sugar didn't make it too sugary, so that's still good. Alright, the next one I had to put my jacket on. Because I kind of started spilling the sauce. Bitch, I hella spilled the sauce on the way here. <laughs> Whatever, I got my shirt still fine. I'm gonna put this little blanket on me so I don't spill it everywhere. Let me try to open this bag. Oh my god, my hands so oily. So this next place I went to is something I saw on Yelp, and it's one of the highest, or not highest, but most rated. It has about three thousand reviews on Yelp in this area, and so I wanted to go for something that was uh, something I haven't really tried before. Um, also was just something that is on Yelp here in the Oakland uh, Chinatown area and this place actually had some mixed reviews in the comments um, but the thing that was highly recommended is their sesame noodles with fresh noodles bitch I love fresh noodles I love noodles but I love fresh noodles oh my god look at that oh that is the sesame fresh noodles this looks the consistency looks amazing I saw the lady in the window cutting it up um, but yeah let's give this a try it looks super thick i like that the sauce is thickened i don't know if i'm supposed to do that but you know like i said i've been walking and i wanted to give it the best the best try so let's go ahead and give this a bite mm. Noodles have a really nice bounty texture. Definitely absorbs a lot of the flavor of this dish. Mm. It's, a little, it's a little soury in taste. Oh, ah, ah, want to bite. I wonder if these. Greens are here to help cut down the sour. Uh -huh. mm -mm. I think this needs, it needs something else. It needs another texture change, I think. Yeah, but I'm loving these fresh noodles, so. Fresh noodles any day. Mm. I love instant noodles still too, but a different experience when you try fresh noodles, you know? Mmm. 
And if you ever had fresh cut noodles before, you got a different consistency in your textures. Um, so it's a little bit squishy. Like this one is a little bit more thick, as you can see in certain areas. It holds a lot more of the flavoring of the dish you're eating. And it's just super more chewy. Has a nice bouncy texture. A little sad I dropped some of my oil sauce. There's still a lot of sauce here gathering in the bottom, so let's try some of the noodles that have been sitting down there. <clears throat> I kind of wanted this to be have more of a pepper, um, like a peanutty sesame taste. Definitely the sour is very uh, overpowering on this dish. It's so good. There was some meats that was recommended on Yelp. For this place. It probably would have been really good with these noodles. Like I'm saying, it's missing something. I think it's because I'm not pairing it with anything and I'm just eating noodles by itself. Mmm. <clears throat> I really, really like the noodles. It does have its own journey. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a third base. So what's funny is that a while back I was here. Um, what was I here for? I was picking up something, and I texted my friend Jen and I asked her for some places that have. I forget if I was asking for a rice noodle or rice cake or something. And so she recommended this one place, and I recorded it at home um, and I never got to edit it or post it so I'm gonna tag it along to this video and so here we go oh shit I spilled hella sauce on my, on my bike at his house there's a holy in my in my bag oh man okay so as I was saying let's uh let's transport to a couple months ago Ooh, I probably still have right here in this one. Oh no let's transport a couple months ago into this next video for this other restaurant that is here in Oakland all right, y'all, I'm super excited to try this. I'm just going to try to jump right in. I have our rice noodle. More rice noodle. This one is with Chinese donut. I think this one's with beef. And this one's with shrimp. Oh, yeah, so beautiful. Singaporean um, chow mein. It's like Thai, Thai curry. Or like, not maybe not Thai curry, but like curry. And our half duck. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chinese donut looks crazy. Look at that. Wow. This is our shrimp. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, shoot. Look at that roast duck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Give this beef one a try. Look at that. Oops. I dropped. <laughs> dropped the beef. Mmm. Mm, that has a really nice chewy texture to it. Mmm. Ooh, their beef is seasoned really well. Very, very gingery in taste. Mmm. I really like this noodle. I saw them making the noodle. Super cool. They like they like put it on like a something similar to like making a crepe. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then they just sort of like ladle the mixture for the rice noodle. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. I'm doing terrible at this. <laughs> okay, we'll eat it in pieces. Mmm. Mmm. Really good ginger beef. Mmm. I'm ready to try this duck. I haven't had duck in so long. It's not too oily. You know, sometimes when you see it in the window, there's like a lot of like fat dripping off. It's nice, roasted. Yum. And like sometimes at like restaurants, I'll get duck and it's like pretty oily. This is not too bad. Mmm. Mmm. Nice dark meat. Real meat still, still, still a little juicy. Yeah. Mmm. That skin is so good. Mm. Careful when you eat duck. Little buns. Have a little bit of this noodles. Just add a little bit of everything right now. I'm not gonna eat it all right now. Just, just, just a little try. Just a little try. 
definitely taste the curry in these noodles. That's not, I'm not too heavily spiced. My mouth is a little grainy feeling. So that's a very nice chew to him. Time to try the shrimp. Let's break some of this rice noodle off. There's only about one shrimp per like little square, but the shrimp is pretty massive. If you can see, it's blasphemous. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's a juicy shrimp. Um, if I could get that, mmm, and every little bite of this rice noodle, that'd be marvelous. The rice noodle itself doesn't have too much of a taste, but the meat they've been packed with so good. There's like scallion or something inside the actual rice noodle. The shrimp is amazing. I'm really excited to try Chinese donut because it's just like a whole donut wrapped in it. So, time to try this Chinese sausage rice noodle. Ooh. That is very interesting. Hmm. Jack, do you want to partake in some roast duck? Go. Good boy. Like it? Here's more. Yummy duck for Jaxi. <laughs> you good? Did you even chew it? It's all gone. No more. <laughs> Bye, else. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little Oakland tour. It's not really a tour. It's like three stops in the same, like, not even quarter mile vicinity of each other. It's like hella close. Like, you could, you could walk the whole thing in like two minutes. <laughs> Alright y'all, until next time, I'm your girl CP Says, and please make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're going to do a lot more of these outside in the bay food videos coming out, especially since everyone's getting their vaccine. It's almost time to kick it again, y'all, and be out there in the world, and be out there. Alright, see y'all.